I think teacher career has changed uh, over maybe last years or over the last decades uh, because uh, teaching in general and education has become more flexible and that means that uh, teachers profession also has to be more flexible so maybe uh, uh, in 20 30 years time it could be considered that a teacher would be a subject teacher just doing the class and uh, that's it nowadays we talk a lot about uh, collaboration on a school level collaboration on a national level collaboration on international level which adds up different uh, responsibilities and tasks uh, uh, for teachers we have quite a lot of people uh, in the labour market who are ready to step into school and do a class or two, maybe offer an elective course, but they're not ready to fully commit themselves and do a full-time job as a teacher, which means that we have to allow these people who are ready to come and uh, be part of school life and be part of education, we have to allow them to do so. Teaching definitely is not a career or a profession where it would be just moving upwards. It could be moving uh, in or about. It could be moving uh, back and around. It could be different, different perspectives. And also, very often, teaching is a profession where the career change or the career ladder actually is happening within the teacher. So it's not uh, vertical and it's not even horizontal. It's maybe, in a way, hybrid or kaleidoscope type, but it's uh, some kind of a change in career within the person, uh, uh, getting new competences, being acknowledged for these new competences, and then also, through these new competences, being able to do new kinds of... Uh, taking on new kinds of tasks and doing uh, all kinds of uh, things that are needed at school or even on a system level. When talking about teacher mobility, it's uh, definitely, it de depends on uh, what are the language skills of the teacher who is ready to go. It also brings out issues of uh, who, would be the who would be the replacement teacher, who would take, who would be the substitute and taking the classes while the teacher is uh, somewhere away. At the same time, it brings out all kinds of nice collaboration. If, uh, if there is collaboration already beforehand and uh, schools already trust each other, it's, uh, it's seen kind of uh, part of professional development and not as a, as a mobility, which maybe sounds a little strange strange and maybe, uh, maybe a little intimidating. It's very important when we talk about mobility uh, to find the reason for it. What is the purpose? What do we have in mind when we uh, talk about teacher mobility? Is it only to show the teacher a different country or is it seen as a professional development where a teacher can set uh, themselves goals, can collaborate with the other teachers? And if we view it like this, if we present it like this, if we expect it from our teachers, it would become not as something strange and awkward, it would become as something exciting and, uh, and awarding and needed.